Greetings everyone, I am Lotus Prince, and for this Let's Play we are going to tackle Terminator Future Shock for PC, and I believe specifically for DOS, I don't even know if there's a straight up Windows version of this game. It's an interesting prequel to the Terminator franchise, where we are in the post-apocalyptic world where just robot skeletons are attacking us. Technology is getting better, and humanity's situation is getting worse. There may yet be hope to see if we can beat Skynet, but you know how Terminator works, right? Even if we beat this game, we still have the movie Terminator, so I guess we'll see how long it takes for us to start playing around with time machines? I don't know. We'll get there. But this is a very interesting first-person shooter that has multiple modes of gameplay, to my pleasant surprise, and maybe even a familiar face or two. We'll see what we can find as we try beating Skynet in this tale of souls and swords eternally retold. I mean, metal endoskeletons and guns eternally retold. That's what I meant, yeah. The only thing that I will say, though, is that even though this game clearly has a music setting, I wasn't able to get the music to register. But at the same time, I don't think I particularly mind for this particular game because it further shows just how stark the environment is. You'll get your sound effects, but it's just going to be cold silence with the occasional ambient wind blowing or robot coming up on you. It really enhances the mood, I think, so get ready for a pretty crazy experience with legitimately interesting plot. Let's go crazy. Well, here we are preparing ourselves to launch an old game that you may not have heard of. In we go. Oh, I like this. I think I like this quite a bit. Los Angeles, 1995. Stock explosion sound right off the bat. 2015, what? Did this happen? The robots brought you to this death camp. Tonight, with some help from the human resistance, you can make your escape. These stock sound effects. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Lotus. Prince. That's me. Get to the Tiki Grand Hotel. Get to the office building behind the hotel. Use the resistance car to escape. Uh, okay. Tactical. Ooh. The hunter-killer fighter has proven to be a dangerous enemy. It is light, fast, and maneuverable, and equipped with enough firepower to easily take out a resistance vehicle. The only good advantage we have is, in order to improve flight dynamics, it has thin armor, making this HK, hunter-killer, fairly easy to shoot down. Be careful when it flies overhead. Many resistance soldiers have been caught off guard by the HK's tail gun. And if there's more where this came from, I don't know. This is all I get from just pressing the arrow keys or anything. Oh, I can click. Okay, well. The Scout is a very light airborne enemy, capable of flying through some pretty tight areas. Some have even been observed flying into or out of sewer and river drainage tunnels. They are fairly easy to kill, having only the lightest armor. But they are quite aggressive and tend to charge while firing their light twin plasma cannons. The drone is the smallest of Skynet's hunter-killer-class flying robots. It is very small and nimble, comma, making it hard to hit, but once hit, the drone is easily destroyed. The drone is equipped with a low-power laser beam, which it only uses at close range? We believe the primary function of the drone is to scout an area for resistance soldiers and alert larger robots in the area when it finds them. For this reason, destroy them whenever you can. Ooh, the opening cutscene bot. The Spider-Bot is so named from its obvious similarity to the Arachnid. 
This robot stands at a height of over 3 meters and can be quite terrifying upon first encounter. Its long legs allow it to scramble over many obstacles and terrain features a... Oh, okay. Over many obstacles and terrain features a tracked vehicle would have problems negotiating. Got it. It usually uses its plasma weapon in combat, but it also sometimes gores targets? Really? On its tusk-like projections located just under the ocular array. Wow. One of the most prevalent robot models is the Raptor. It is a true predator, stalking down humans over any terrain or obstacle. It likes to close in on its target quickly, firing with its small internal mount plasma weapon. Try not to get cornered by one. If the raptor doesn't kill you outright, the explosion for destroying it just might. Some raptors have been observed tearing apart victims with their foot claws long after the kill, although we do not understand why. That's creepy. The Seeker, or Globe, is the dumbest, okay, and weakest of our enemies. The Seeker is essentially a floating mine. When it gets a lock on you, it will drift straight at you and explode on impact. Not particularly well armored or maneuverable, the Seeker is quite easy to kill if you spot it in time. Sky Knight uses these trucks, this has been in fast, for a variety of purposes. They can be equipped with a cargo pod or a liquid fuel tank. The anti-grav generators seem capable of hauling several tons of material, and also allow the truck to transport material more smoothly than conventional trucks can. These robots are slow moving and completely unarmed. And we've looped! Let's take a look at our briefing. Jesus, this is running fast. Maybe this will help. Listen, I'm hurt too bad to move. I'm dying, I can feel it. You've got to... to save yourself. There's nothing you can do for me. I have a car parked a little ways off from here, just a few blocks away. You can use it to, to get to Resistance HQ. To get to it, just skirt around the d death camp, then head north through the rubble. It's parked in front of the office building behind the Tiki Grand Hotel. You'll need to... to go through the hotel to get to the office. You'll see. T take my... gun. I won't be needing it. I'm as good as dead. Save yourself. Help save humanity. You've got to find John Connor. Join the resistance. T tell them Sergeant Roberts sent you. Okay. You have my attention. Let's begin. And we're in. Molotovs. Lots of Molotovs. An Uzi. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I have map view, but like, with a CCTV camera. Is this the whole level then? I guess it is level one. They're gonna make it nice and short for me. But that that's really cool. Okay. Okay. Bar and Uzi. Ammo box, fair enough. I'm very happy that I can modernize this to uh, make it so I strafe with the arrow keys and stuff like that. Sophie's Gift Boutique. Maybe I should go, whoa, shopping. Seek this. Still more ammo. Oh. I didn't mean to actually fall here. But now that I'm here. Just a pile of skulls. I mean, to be fair, that was in the movie. Or maybe it was a skeleton, but whatever. That is terrifying. Is this real life? Whoa, that thing killed me immediately. 
Yeah, let's restart the mission. Alright, well now I know to watch out for that thing. Come to think of it, maybe I should just play this on easy. I think I will, actually. Difficulty level is low. Did it. Look at that, piece of cake. And I'll go this way this time. Find myself a hundred more Molotovs. By the way, did you notice my, um, my radiation gauge, which exists? Oh yeah, and obviously I probably should have thrown Molotovs at the, the spider bot. First aid kit. Did, did, did I just waste that? Or can't... What the hell? Oh. Did I just waste the first aid kit? Or is that something I could actually use on command? Oh, this is not going well. Wow, nice throw. Alright. Is there a reason bullets just are useless? This is also not going well. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do one more new game. Oh, quit to DOS? Ah, oh, come on. Ah, to hell with it. I'll investigate the building at any rate. I don't know what you want me to do about those spider drones, though. Even these weak raptors just don't go down easily. I could fight this. Got him. Alright. Okay, that's more like it. It's a lot of explosions, too. Is this real life? Come on. That is a cool effect. That really is. There's my health. Do I get more armor? Okay, I got a little bit of armor. A Kevlar jacket. Okay. I'm starting to learn how this game works. The spider bot's still terrifying. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I can jump. That's a thing. I might be wasting the med kits by picking them up. Oh. Get out. I can jump on the thing. There we go. Oh, come on. This thing is a master dodger. How many robots are there? I haven't even joined the resistance yet. Anyway, this is where I fell the other time. There's horrifying spider bot, which I guess saw me. Oh, that is horrible. That is actually scary. Can you, like, land on the robot? Is this, like, a boss encounter or what? Yeah, you stay behind that car. Uh, bye. Actually scary. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at me. I'm a master member of the Resistance. I'll actually re-traverse that whole uh, trench now that the, the horrible spider bot is gone. I'm hearing something, but what? I don't like it. I mean, there's this guy. Jeez, 
is just the first level, and this place is a nightmare. Go figure. And this is, again, such a small map. This should be a joke of a level, and it probably would be if I really knew it inside out, but I don't. Truly the dumbest of the robot forces. Oh, hello. Less dumb. Definitely less dumb. I can't wander off without finding that car. I've heard that sound before, too. A lot of stock sounds in this game. I forgot where I've heard that sound, but I've absolutely heard it. Oop, hello. At least I'm taking out robot goons. Can't complain too much. Hey, look, it's another friend. Those guys remind me of those sentry drones in Duke Nukem 3D. They just run at you and blow up. Anyway, Spider-Bot's dead. This is where we would have found him. I guess it's where we did find him. And that's probably going out too far. Oh, God. Oh. How many robot enemies? Somebody else absolutely shot at me. I saw red lasers. Oh, you're kidding. Yep, that counts. Ah, there you are. That's fine. Ugh, not a good look. My armor's looking terrible. I can't tell if I'm hitting it. I should maybe stop spraying bullets everywhere. Happy to get a hundred bullets. Very happy to get armor. An assault rifle. This might do a little better. They're both weapon two, so they use the same ammo. I may as well just stick with the assault rifle. Oof. I'll happily pick up whatever armor I can. Now, where am I actually supposed to be going? I can cross this bridge. Or, the, it's not a bridge, it's a beam. But I'm happy I did that. Where was that tiki whatever hotel? God, this is cool. The level is longer than I thought, but still. Now I'm gonna fall off. That's fine. Oh, and I found a friend. Yeah, get lost, buddy. I need a car. Where do I find a car? I found another seeker, I suppose. See ya. Oh good, you can shoot at me. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, go away. Yeah, that's much better. I like this gun better. Where the hell is the car? This should be the easy part. I'm up by the fence. Can I do anything with this? I was afraid of that. Touching the fence hurt a lot. I wasted a lot of health. This is not going very well. But I'm on the outside again. So that's the good part. Now... Okay, just fire sounds. And a friend. Anyway... Oh, now what?
This might be what I need, actually. This might be what I need. I'll take the armor. I have a healthy amount of uh, ammo. That's good. This might be just what the doctor ordered. Maybe I don't care about that laser fence. Okay, this is the wrong way, but this was the right way. And I got, what is it, a shotgun? With unique ammo. Okay, so this is the wrong way, but this paid off in a big way. I'm not even mad. What I am, as you might never guess, is lost. I can't open, oh no, the door was just open. I don't know what they want from me. Like, I, I have my mission, right? That's easy. Oh, well, I can't find the mission. But that's all right. What am I hearing? Like, I, I want the Tiki Gr Grand Hotel. Ugh, I couldn't strafe right. And I really hope robots don't respawn. Like, I really hope that I'm going in new directions each time. This area does not look familiar, so that's a good sign. And I actually have a lot of armor. Thank you, secret area. Right, this looks like where I might want to be. Not that I can read anything that says Tiki Grand Hotel, but I'll take what I can get. Someone else is mad at me. It never ends. Silencing robots for days. Plastic armor? Oh, damn. I also heard a laser, though. I think. There you are. Get wrecked. Oh, their explosions actually do hurt me. I was wondering if they were just ambient. Guess not. This map is bigger than I thought. I don't like this. So far, so good, I guess. I'm definitely coming out ahead. I thought I had really sacrificed a lot of health and armor, but... And there's more. Come on. However... It looks like I have found the Tiki Grand Hotel. This is good. Oh my god. Too many guardians. There's my shotgun if I didn't find a, a free one before. I actually can interact with doors, I can't believe it. This changes a lot, actually. Makes me nervous. God, this place is a mess. But we're going up. I'll save before making this jump, just for safety. You know, maybe that wasn't the genius idea I thought it was. Ugh. 
If I could stop being ambushed, that'd be fantastic. Bathroom, it looks like. This place really is a mess. Alright, better. Less, less better. That's probably not good. That's just walled off. We're going up even more. I think I'll save again. This is some game. This is the first level? I'm gonna get my ass beat. Well, I'm way up here. I'm outside. Rocket pack? Excuse me? Power armor. Better. I pissed somebody off. I almost died. Are my shots bouncing off and just hitting me? I didn't look right. Better. And now... This is insane! Robbers didn't tell me that this was the only way into the building. get out of here. Oh, give me a break. Pretty good shortcut. Oh, that's not cool. But... Ugh. Oh my god, come on. This game is tough. Not this time. This is relentless. Nah. Still, I'm looking pretty good, considering the circumstances. Is there a way out or what? Does this not count? Okay. Bathroom I don't need. Like, don't tell me I need to go back. Oh, this might be it. Okay. Sergeant Robert said I'd have to use his car to get out of here. And definitely save before I start playing around with the spider bot. Oh god. John Connor here. Wherever you are, just drive to headquarters. You can explain what happened to Roberts when you get here. Well done! Oh, thank goodness. Scary. 
Um, okay, I guess I'll save when I enter the next mission. Fighter, scout, drone. Oh, subtlety is not the word that comes to mind when describing the heavy tank. It is a large, well-armored tracking uh, tracked vehicle with two heavy plasma cannons on a swivel mount. What they lack in speed, they more than make up in firepower. It is advised that you avoid these robots at all costs when on foot, and use extreme caution when facing one in a resistance vehicle. Jeez. Spider, Raptor, Seeker. This is a standard turret. Turrets are stationary enemies filled with a 300, or er, fitted with a 360 degree swivel mount. Turrets can be outfitted with a variety of weapon systems, including laser cannons and plasma cannons. Some of our patrols have seen models with missile pods attached, but fortunately for us, these seem to be very rare. Trucks. Okay, briefing. Connor here. Sorry to hear about Sergeant Roberts. He was a good soldier. We don't have time to mourn right now, though. We need to get you to HQ. Go west from your current position until you hit the highway. Follow under the highway north for a little while, and when it splits, head northwest. I'm going to need to remember this. It will then turn west through the hills. Keep following it west. When you see some warehouse walls, pull off to your right. You'll find us at the police station next to the brewery and the warehouse. Just pull the car and back with the others. We'll be formally introduced. Whoops. When you get here, Lotus. Oh, it knows my name! The roads can get pretty choppy, so keep a steady hand on the wheel. We've got a laser cannon installed in the car, which draws juice from an onboard fusion plant we got from a downed HK, so you won't run out of power to your weapon systems. Huh. Good luck and welcome to the Resistance, Prince. Oh my goodness. Let's begin and immediately save. Definitely saving. We have a vehicle section here. This game's crazy. But... For now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got acquainted with the aesthetics and controls of this game, and it actually plays pretty decently. But it does not let up, even on the easy difficulties. I mean, okay, I didn't get shredded as quickly as I did on normal mode, but they still throw enemies at you like they're going out of style. But can you believe it? We've gone from level 1 immediately to a vehicle section. Looks like we have some diverse forms of gameplay. Until next time, everyone.